Hello all, and welcome to Wondershare eDrawMax. In this video, we will learn about SWOT analysis. A SWOT analysis is a robust evaluation tool that is used to assess and measure the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of your business or yourself as a person. Taking the time to do a SWOT analysis of your business or career will help you identify your strengths and weaknesses and how you can harness them to gain opportunities and mitigate threats. Strengths The first step is to identify and list what you think your and your business's strengths are, like what is your uniqueness, what are you good at, what is your strength. At this stage of the SWOT analysis, the list does not need to be decisive. Any ideas and thoughts are encouraged. Weaknesses List things that you consider to be weaknesses, that is, things that put you or your business at a disadvantage to others. Weaknesses could include what you could improve on, what do you lack, what are your weaknesses. Make sure you address the weaknesses raised in your SWOT analysis. The list of weaknesses can indicate how you or your business has grown over time. When you analyze the SWOT analysis after a year, you may notice that your weaknesses have been resolved. While you may find new weaknesses, the fact that the old ones are gone is a sign of progress. Opportunities Think about the possible external opportunities. An opportunity for one aspect of your business could be a threat to another. Think about good opportunities you can exploit immediately. These don't need to be game changers. Even small advantages can increase your or your organization's competitiveness. Check for what opportunities are up for grabs. What trends could you take advantage of? How can you turn your strengths into opportunities? Opportunities could include new technology, training programs, partnerships, a diverse marketplace, and a change of government. Threats. List external factors that could be a threat or cause a problem to you or your business. Examples of threats could include rising unemployment, increasing competition, higher interest rates, and the uncertainty of global markets. When you are making your list, be precise and prioritize so the most important points are at the top. You will find that strengths and weaknesses are internal, while opportunities and threats are external. And strengths and opportunities come under positive factors, while weaknesses and threats come under negative factors. Now let's see how to do a SWOT analysis. Step 1. List your business's strengths. Step 2. List your business's weaknesses. Step 3. List potential opportunities for your business. Step 4. List potential threats to your business. And Step 5. Develop a strategy to address issues in the SWOT. Navigate to File. Click on New. Select Business and then Strategy and Planning. Now choose Matrix Diagram. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. Matrix Library. Here you can find different matrix designs. Drag and drop the design onto the drawing page and adjust accordingly. Now we'll use the Basic Drawing Shapes Library, which is found under the General category. And now we'll customize the design to meet our needs. Start filling in the information. We'll make a SWOT analysis of Tesla as an example here.
To fill color, click on Style on the right side of the page. We can even change the font style. Align the text and add bullets. Select Fit to Drawing under the Page Layout tab. Click on the From Current Page icon to preview the diagram in a single frame. You can find the complete SWOT analysis of Tesla in the description below. Now let's see a few examples of SWOT analysis diagrams that are available in eDraw Max. Here's a BMW SWOT analysis a Coca-Cola SWOT analysis, and a marketing SWOT analysis. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDraw Max online or to download the software.